Okay, so in today's video, we'll be covering deleting text in Vim. So without further ado, um, we'll start with X, which simply deletes the character under the cursor. So the O, the L, the U. Uh, simplest um, deleting operation you can do. Uh, you can also take an account. So if I do uh, 3X, it'll delete the next three characters. 3x deletes the character under the cursor and the two characters that follow. Okay. Uh, we also have delete, which does the same thing, except it cannot take in a, a count argument. So just keep that in mind if you still want to use delete. We also have shift x, which deletes the character before the cursor. So there it'll delete c, so on and so forth. Uh, what was I going to say? It basically acts as a a backspace, but in normal mode. So it can also take an account. So if I do three shift X, deletes the three characters that appear before the L, and then a two shift X, same thing. Uh, so uh, next we have D, which is the main operation, and the slight difference between X and D. Oh, sorry, slight difference between X and D. Uh, X doesn't modify the, the registers in any way, but whatever you delete will be put into the default register. So uh, for copying and paper, well, for pasting, not really. There's no copying in Vim. Uh, if I do D, dollar sign, well, I should explain. Uh, for D to work, you need to give it a, a motion. So if I do D, then nothing will happen. It's waiting for a motion. Or a text object, but uh, we'll cover text objects in its own video. So today we'll just deal with uh, normal motions. It's waiting for a motion, so don't do anything until it gets a motion. So if I do L, uh, move one to the right, it will just delete the A because I only moved one character to the right. If I say uh, D four L, it will delete uh, four characters. If I say D dollar sign, it will delete everything from where I started until uh, the end of the line because that was the motion I covered. Um, DJ uh, pull well if I come to the middle here to make it more clear. DJ deletes the entire line that I'm on and the line below. Uh, same thing with uh, DK. So DK does the same thing: the line you're on and the line uh, above you. So that's how you can delete multiple lines uh, quickly. Okay, so uh, that's it. So any valid motion, any valid text object you do will be, um, yeah, will be deleted. Everything between where you started until the motion will be deleted, except for the the D and K. That for the J and K that just uh, deletes the entire line. So if I do D F open parentheses to find open parentheses, it deleted everything up until it found the parentheses, including the parentheses. If I do D till open parentheses there, um, similar thing except obviously uh, till stops before the uh, parentheses. So that's D. Uh, we also have DD, which is a shortcut for deleting the line that you're on, because that's a common operation we have. It also deletes the the end of line. At the end of the line, we also have uh, so DD works uh, wherever you are in the line. We also have shift D, which deletes everything from where you are up until the end of the line. So it's essentially an alias for uh, D dollar sign, uh, since it is also a very popular operation. Uh, note it doesn't uh, delete the end of line at the end of the line. So yeah, if you come here and do, well, if I go to the beginning and uh, if I do DD, the whole line is deleted. But if I do shift uh, D, the end of line is still kept. So keep that in mind. And then, yeah, we also have the actual command D, which deletes. So um, it works the same. It will, well, not this, the same as D. It deletes however many lines you specify. So if I do D, um, it just deletes the line that I'm on, right? But if I do say D and give it um, the argument of four, it will delete the, the four lines that were in this doc string, doc string because you now there are four lines here. So that's deleting. 
Uh, we also have the join operation. So uh, it's uppercase J for join. So if I'm on this line here, uh, by uh, this line, if I do shift J, it will join the, the line I'm on, the line below. And I can just keep doing this to keep joining lines. Uh, also note, um, so you can see at the end of this line, there's, there's no trailing white space. F is the last character on this line and then the end of line character. And then uh, the line below has no no trailing white space before the F here. But when I do shift J, a white space is added, well, a space is added. Um, and that is by default, it does that by default. It just adds a space just because usually, well, you, you don't want to see this and then come here and insert the space yourself. Typically that's, that's the case. So it inserts, it removes the end of line and then inserts a space in its space. Also note, if this was say indented and I came to the end here and I did a shift J, that all that white space is replaced with a, a single space in the end. So uh, indenting doesn't really matter. Uh, the one specific case is if you have a period at the end of your line and you join, now two spaces are added and this I can't remember what the exact reasoning is, but every if your line ends with a period, then two spaces are, are added instead of one. It's just the way them is. Okay, so that's the join operation. You also have a G, J for a specific type of join. So if I do G, J, uh, it removes the end of line and that's it. It doesn't change, it doesn't add a, an extra space for you. Uh, and also, if you had white space here, yeah, then I do uh, G shift J, it doesn't touch that white space. It keeps it as is and joins the line, um, as, as, as the, joins the lines as they were. Okay, uh, it's worth noting, if you come to say the end of the document, I'm at the end of the document here. Yeah, if I try and shift J, uh, nothing happens. Uh, so if I, okay, I'm back to where I was. So that's all the operations and all, all those operations were in normal mode. In visual mode, um, three operations carry over. So if I V to um, select some text here, um, whatever I select and if I, whatever I select, if I hit B, all of that just gets deleted. It's as simple as that. It's, sorry. Um, if I do, oh, I need visual mode. If I do say, okay, if I'm on one line, I select one, sorry if you can barely see, but um, if I do shift J, it does the normal J operation as in normal mode. Uh, it joins the line that I selected with the line below. If I select again, if I'm in visual mode again, and I do shift J, it joined those two lines that I selected. So only the two lines, if you can properly see. If I do V, end of line. Um, so I now I'm selected, um, I've selected three lines here. If I do shift J, it joins those three lines. So that's how you can join the, the three lines there. Uh, also note uh, the normal J, the normal uh, join operation in normal mode, uh, you can give it a numbered argument. So you can also do like a four J to join four lines. Um, sorry for not mentioning that earlier. Uh, so, and the last one you can do in visual mode is uh, the well, the GJ as well. So uh, the G, um, the G join, the special join, I guess. I think that's the official name. Uh, it does the same thing it would do in normal mode. Just it doesn't insert the the spaces at the end of the lines. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys in the next. Cheers.